So why are we in the forest today? Because nobody can hear your scream. Keep that in mind, we're going to talk about the Hudson Zeno Mini SE. Now in my original video, I'll put that up here, it was a replacement for my Maverick Mini. It was great, absolutely wonderful. Then there came some updates. Update 1.1.5 and then the app 2.2.9 came out and I took the Xeno up for a little spin. Well, this is what happened. App froze. And then again. And again. And again. And I switched the cables. It froze again. It froze again. The only way I could get it to work was if I turned the Wi-Fi off when it was flying. So I turned the Wi-Fi off and we got connected. And we had a decent flight. Okay? And I'll put the flight at the end of this video. But I have to say, Hudson, please test your stuff before you distribute it because you never know what's going to happen. And maybe it is because there's so many Android devices out there, so many different types of software out there, different programs, etc. Maybe your phone is just congested with stuff that it can't run everything. Maybe the CPU is overpowered. But in my experience with my phones, my devices that I've had no issues with whatsoever before this, we suddenly get these freeze-ups or app closures or whatever. Okay? The other thing is I've noticed with the Xeno Mini SE, it doesn't have the range it used to. Okay? It was on par with the Mavic Mini before. Now I'm barely getting that 450, 500 meter range out here, which is what I was getting with the Parrot of Affy, which is synonymous or it's very well known for not having great range. So here's a short screen recording of the flight I took. And I'm, like I say, 200 meters out, just over that. And just watch this little video here. Break up, choppy, lost frames. It doesn't show up in the actual video, but the transmission to the device is pretty bad. Okay. So the Hubson Zeno Mini SE, when it works, it's absolutely great. But as with all Hubsons, it depends on which model you get. I'm not saying maybe the model is the wrong expression. It's which batch of that model you get. The internals were all these drones. Let's just take the Hubson Mini SE for example. You take them apart, or take all the Minis apart. And I've seen the inside of six of them. And every one of them is slightly different. Maybe not in the parts they've got, but the way they're assembled. Some have a little bit of tape here. Some have a little bit of black tape here. A cushion here. They have a little bit different uh, covering. Uh, the molding is a little bit different on some of the parts. And then some of them are glued together. Some of them are just press fit together. Okay? I just took the Hubson Xeno Mini SE apart that I have and it's epoxy glued together. So you can't take the connectors apart. You'd have to disassemble the whole main board heat it up to get them apart and then you'd probably have to replace the connectors because they wouldn't be any good anymore. So Hudson, every time there's an update, be cautious. If your drone is working fine, then don't worry. Let somebody else like me take the risk, update, report back. And I'm not saying that all these issues are the same for everybody because every drone, every individual unit could be slightly different. As with, you've seen on some of my Xeno Mini Pro videos, I replaced the gimbal. Well, every gimbal 
could be a little bit different. And I've seen this with Femi as well. It's a lottery. If you get a good one, it's a good one. If you don't, the headaches just mount up and mount up. But we did get a good flight out of it. And I'm confident, I'm hopefully confident with the Zeno Mini SE because it is still, I say, the best one that Hudson has come out with. Okay, so let's look at this little video. It's, it's pretty good. The camera's not the greatest. It's only a one over 2.6, I believe. So it's not up there with the uh, Zeno Mini Pro or with the DJI Mini 2 or the Autel Nanos any of that stuff, but it's a pretty good drone for the money. Okay, we're still waiting for that perfect drone. Will the Mini 3 be the perfect drone? Who knows? My main issue is, and this goes back years and years and years, go back to the Hubson H501 or the 501S. They had the controller with the monitor in it. Then you had no doubt that you were going to get a good connection to the drone because it's made for it. And I've been asking Hubson and Femi for years to include in the controller a monitor that's worthy of good video, good resolution, good transmission, a good feed, good connection. You never have to worry about cables. And I'm sure that once they get rid of the cables and they introduce an all-in-one controller, a lot of their issues are going to go away. It's really, really hard to appease everybody that has. There's probably 500 different designs of phones, devices in Android, and you can't please everybody. So they do have a list of preferred items you should be using but even then there's differences there's how people use them how they set them up it's going to be a conflict at some point so what do you do well you come into the forest you scream does it do any good no we have what we have and that's all there is enjoy the video see you the next time and when there is an update i'll let you know and on my particular devices, I'll let you know what works and what doesn't work. The big thing is, don't use the supplied cables and don't fly with Wi-Fi on. Okay? See you in the next one. Bye now.